Hey guys and welcome to Augmented Startups. My name is Ritesh Kanji and in today's lecture we're going to be installing and running Mask RCNN in 5 steps. So the last time we used Mask RCNN, we were using TensorFlow version 1. So this lecture will be a TensorFlow 2.0 update and we will run Mask RCNN in real time. So let's get started. So the first step is that we need to download the Mars RCNN repo. So you'll need to go to this site over here, github.com, augmented startups, Mars underscore RCNN. Now just a note, if you want to download the slides to this tutorial and enroll in any of our courses on augmented startups, then all the links will be down below. So this is the forked repo for Mars RCNN. You can go ahead and check it out. But we are more interested in downloading the code and implementing it. So just copy that. And what I want you to do right now is to go into a fresh folder, type in CMD to open our command prompt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna git clone this repo. So type in git clone and the repo address. Enter. And it will start downloading the repo. So great, we have downloaded our Mars RCNN repo. Let's just go over to the folder that we have. Right, you can see that we have our files. We have setup.py. We are mostly focusing on requirements.txt in order to install all our dependencies. Okay, so let's go back to the slides. Okay, so we are done with step one, which is downloading the repo. We've also cloned the repo to our local drive. Next up, we have step two, which is optional, and this involves installing a virtual environment. Now, you may already have your environment set up with CUDA installed as well, but if you want to have a fresh install, you can follow these instructions. So back in our folder, we're gonna go into CMD again, and we're gonna create our virtual environment. So we're gonna say pip install virtual env. So if you don't already have a virtual environment installed, then you can type in this command. Let's just make this a little bigger. Right. Okay, so next up, we need to type in virtual env mass rcnn underscore env. So I'm just gonna type in over here underscore v1 because I already have an environment called mass rcnn underscore environment. Okay, so press enter and it will create our environment. Next, we need to activate our environment. So we're gonna say mask rcnn underscore env underscore v1 if you've named it v1 or version one scripts and then we want to activate it now if it was activated correctly you'll see your environment right over here cool so let's go back to the slides and let's see what we have now next we can go to step two which is copy our execution scripts now to run mass rcnn in real time let's go over to our other github repo I know it might look the same, but it's actually a different repo. This is the one that we use for the course, our Mass RCN course. And you can see that we have a number of projects that are only available in the paid version of the course. And we talk about how to train your Mass RCN and implement it for real-time pothole detection. So once you have your mass detections, right, what do you do with it? And in this lecture, we focus on pothole segmentation analysis. So we take the mass or the area of pixels that are highlighted by each detection. In this case, it's the potholes that are detected. And we want to analyze them how big they are with respect to our scene. So if we're able to see how big they are, we can decide whether we want to avoid them or we can send this data to a third party that will eventually find these potholes and be able to fix them. So if you're definitely interested in enrolling in this course, you can head over to augmentedstartups.com forward slash store and you'll find Mars RCN right over here. 
Okay, so next we go into webcam mask rcnn and we need to download these two scripts. So let's go to video demo.py. We can click on row and let's save our script as video demo.py and we're going to put it in our mask rcnn folder. Save. Let's do the same with the other one. Go to visualize underscore cv2.py. You're actually supposed to go here to raw and then save as. Cool, that should work. Okay, let's see what we have to do next. Okay, so we've downloaded our scripts, right? And we've saved them in the root folder for mouse rcn and clone. Next, we have step four, which is installing our requirements. Okay, so let's go into our folder. Type in CMD. So first up, we need to install our requirements. And we can do this by typing in pip install dash r requirements dot txt. Press enter and let it install. Now, just for your information, let's check out all the requirements that we're installing. So over here you can see all the dependencies that we are installing and you can see that we are using TensorFlow 2.0.0. So now you don't have to worry about a workaround for the TensorFlow 1.0 problem that we had before. Okay, so now that that is done. Okay, so next up, we need to get Mars RCNN running on our GPU. And in order to do that, you need to install CUDA and CUDNN. Now this process is very lengthy and it's quite a process to get set up. So I found a video that will really help you by Deep Lizard and she'll take you through the TensorFlow and Keras GPU support. So I highly recommend that you check out her video for this installation. Okay, and then finally, we have step five, which is running Mask RCNN. Now, first up, we need to download our test video. Now, I already have a video downloaded from the net. Now you can either download one or you can create your own. Once you have that, let's open up CMD and type in python video demo.py and the name of your video. Mine is called test1.mp4. Press enter. And now before it will run, it will first download your mass arsen and coco model. This may take some time. You can see that it's happening right over here. So this process might take around five minutes depending on your internet connection speed. And then once it has downloaded, it'll start running the model. Okay, great. So we have mass arsenal working. You can see that it's detecting very well. We are detecting a whole lot of people and some other objects. The objects that are being detected, you can see over here where you can see the shape of the object, where the position is in space, and their bounding boxes. Now when you run mass arsenal, you're gonna notice that it's very slow, even on GPU. I'm using a 1080 Ti, and it's running around four frames a second, which is not that great, but it's a limitation of the model. I sped it up a little bit just to show you the video for demonstration. Let's try it out on another video. I'm going to change this to test2.mp4 and let's run. And you can see mass arsenal works really well for vehicles. Here we're detecting some people, cars and buses. For some reason we're also detecting this building as a car or boat, <laughs> which is not the case, but we can always train our model to be better. Now you can see that in a dense urban environment, mass arsenal is doing really well. So now with the information that you have here, you can estimate the size of an object just based on the mass pixel representations of each object. So to all of those who have sponsored us on YouTube and Patreon, you guys are awesome. And a special thanks to our elite augmented engineers, Andre and Shane Prukop. We really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.